hello hello everybody that was dramatic like boom um welcome back to the channel shana here and today i have the long awaited scavenger hunt holy guacamole this has taken me entirely too long i was tagged by danny buttons and then i believe i was tagged again by kirsty color and sketch and i hadn't got around to doing it so i do apologize danny <laughs> that this has taken so long um but i kind of just went through and I did it a little bit differently this time than I did the first time. I picked books that I thought had like a lot of the pictures. Well, for most prompts, not for all of them. Um, but a lot of the pictures had what the prompt was in them, if not all of the pictures. So yeah, so that's kind of how I went about this one. And I am super excited to share it with you. So come along for the ride and it should be fun. So I'm going to try to move these out of the way. Ah, I have a cup on the side here. I just knocked over. I thought it was full, but it's empty. So you can see it a little bit, but that's fine. Um, so the first one is a picture of a beverage and then it says seasonal question mark. So I guess that's like bonus points. Um, but I think I get bonus points for doing the whole book. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, so this is Sherry Baldy, my besties coffee bean besties book, coloring book. And they are so, so cute. I had to have this book because as you guys know, I am a barista and coffee is life. So they all have beverages of some sort or are apparently in beverages or beverage holders. Um, there are two copies of these images, but they're just so, so adorable. So cute. So I figured at least one of them, like this one has um, like sunflowers and stuff. So that's kind of fall related. You could, this has a snowflake on it, but like you could call it pumpkin spice, I guess. I was hoping one of them would say pumpkin spice, but it didn't. But anyway, they are warm beverages for the most part. So yeah, I just thought that one would be super cute and it does definitely have beverages. I'm gonna put these on the floor. My space is a mess. And then the next one was a picture of a dog. So I was going to use my Deborah Muller Fall Friends dog, but I realized I used him last time for the prompt of um, pumpkins, I believe. So going with the full book or most book theme, I picked Dogs on Vacation. This is actually Deborah Muller. That's funny. Um, and all of these pictures are Dogs on Vacation, and they're just so cute. I love this book so much. I really need to color in it. They're so funny. Like that one <laughs> cracks me up. These guys are on the pier. Karaoke. Yeah. So all dogs all the time. <laughs> and next was a picture of something that scares you, something spooky. I already talked about this book and I did a flip through of it, but well, that's kind of scary too. But these pictures really scare me. And like all of them do but where's the one that one's pretty bad because it's got all the moths too which i am like ugh. Anne hatfield was talking about um like getting shivers when she sees things with holes like sunflowers well i get the same like ugh, i'm shaky feeling when i see moths so totally understand that feeling um and i do get it with like the holes sometimes too but yeah, so all of these pictures scare the living daylights out of me, and especially the ones, like, those kind of look like butterflies, but pretty sure they're moths. That really freaks me out. Um, and this one. Ugh, yeah. So we're done with that prompt. <laughs> I'm already gonna have nightmares because I was just on Anne's live, Anna at A Colorful Life, the other Anne. Um, and she was showing her creepy dolls, so eek. Um, and then the next one is a picture of a witch and I just did flip throughs of these So I also kind of chose some newer books for some of the prompts too. I don't know. I have a whole process in my head It doesn't really always translate um, So I picked witch fantasy because all of these lovely ladies are witches And they are very pretty. I can't wait to see them colored in I also just learned that color is starting to create books with like a black background so I guess you don't have all these lines to color in. I'll have to look on their Instagram. But yeah, so all of these women are witches. There's not like a, that's a mermaid. That's the sample pages. I don't think there's like a stereotypical, like long nose warts witch in this book. They're all like modern witches. 
I just did a flip through of this. I should know. But the Halloween horror one does have one as well. But they're, they're still witches. They're just a different variety. <laughs> and then a picture of candy. So I picked Cinnamon Bun Dreams. Because um, most of this book has candy or sweets. Okay, that part doesn't. Because that's the lunch part. But, um... Like, there's sweets... There's a peppermint page in here somewhere. But I counted this book because a lot of it is sweet. So there's my Pop-Tarts, which I guess some people could consider them candy, but there is a page that I think actually KP Colors just did. This one with the peppermints and the gingerbread. And then of course, sprinkles are candy too, so. But there's a whole spread somewhere with just peppermints. Oh, this is a good page. It's got the lollipops and stuff up here. But yeah, it was fun and I just love this book. It's so cute. I'm pretty sure I used it last time too, which I was trying to avoid, but it's just, it's too cute. Like, look at, look at it. Adorable food. Oh, my other video is done uploading. Is this it? No. I don't know where the peppermint spread is, but that's, that's candy. Yeah, so a lot of the book, at least the back half, has candy and sweets and stuff. Sugar fix. So, yes, that's my thought process there. And then we have a picture of a woodland critter. So what is more fitting than baby forest animals? They're all woodland critters. They live in the forest. And this, one, <laughs> this one's by Jeanette Wommel. So yeah, just oh, super cute. I absolutely love this book. I love her books. I really... I have so many Zen Doodle ones now, and I just need to color in them. I really want to do one of the farm animals ones. I'm just in the mood to color a pig. Don't know why. That's funny that I said that and I was on the warthogs. Yeah, so all these forest animals, woodland critters, so cute. So whimsy. Okay. <laughs> And then we have a picture of a palm tree or palm trees. So I chose Tropical Christmas. Lots of palm trees in this book. There's one on the cover. There's some in the background here. Those are cactuses. There's palm leaves. Palm tree. Where's the one? There's one with, ah, my foot itches. There's a palm tree. There's one with cookie palm trees, and it was so cute. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Eh. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding. Of course I can't find it now. Oh, there it is. Wow. Um, so it's got one on the mugs, and then it's got the palm tree cookies, and I just think it's adorable. So yeah, there's that one. And then a picture of vegetables. I struggled with this one, but Romantic Country is the one that I chose. And then this is the specific image. I thought there were many more vegetables in this book, but there aren't. But there's a whole farm over here. We've got carrots, lettuce. Those are vegetables to me. Tomatoes, technically a fruit. I know, whatever. Squash, which I guess is a legume. I don't know, but I would consider it a vegetable. And it's telling the rabbits to keep out. That's pretty funny. So that is the page. And then I, there are some like scattered, like there's pumpkins and tomatoes, um, but it's not as chock full as I thought. Oh, well, there's mushrooms. So they're kind of scattered. I bet you could do like a scavenger hunt in itself in these books. <laughs> that would be fun. Danny, <laughs> we should do it. Anyway, that would be a lot of fun actually. And then we've got um, a picture of a hat, and I chose Midnight Masquerade because on just about every picture, somebody is wearing a hat or like a helmet or something. Hat. Sorry, I'm out of frame. Hat. No hat in that one. Masks. Hat. Hat. <laughs> hat, see? gonna die hold on okay yeah so lots and lots hat and lots of hats in this book <laughs> i 
it's just about every page almost so I chose that one and they are very pretty hats or like party hats which I really like too well not that one of course of course the, let's go to the back go figure like that's cute I would consider a crown a kind of hat maybe but yeah just super cute oh I have so many books that I need to work out of it stresses me out no not really um, and then the last two, I didn't do like whole books because it was very hard to find books for some reason. Um, and I kind of wanted for this one to choose one that not a lot of people have done. So I chose a million owls and they're in the little bookshelf over here and they're just so, so adorable. Love them. They're hiding. Or are they karaokeing maybe and they're chuckling? I don't know what's going on. There's a lot going on. But yeah, that one is fun. I don't think there's any more books in here though, unless I miss miss saw that. I don't I don't know how to say that. <laughs> it's like eleven o'clock at night, guys. Don't don't judge me. <laughs> and then for uh, the bonus question, it is where do you wish you were slash could travel right now? Well, other than like going home to see family, which was really hard to find any kind of picture that resembled that. Um, I want to be in Disneyland, not Disney World, I'm in Disney World, but Disneyland because I've never been. We had a trip planned for mid-October and that has been canceled because they are no longer open. So I chose this picture um, because they have Cars Land in Disneyland and like Pixar Place and stuff. So I really um, thought that this kind of embodied that because Radiator Springs, like, I want to see so bad. I don't know why that's the one thing in Disneyland that I really want to see, but it just looks so cool. Um, and I do like the movie Cars, so the first one, I don't really care for the rest of them, but the first one I think is on point. Um, so yeah, I chose this picture of um, Mater and Lightning McQueen from Disney Vitro. There's a lot of pictures. Oh, and there's Mickey and Minnie. So yeah, I just, I wish we could go, but we will settle with our staycation and we'll still have fun. <laughs> so yeah, so thank you friends so much for watching. I'm not gonna pull the books up here. Uh, we'll see what the thumbnail comes out to be. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching and putting up with my rambling as always. Stay safe and stay healthy. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.